value. So today I want to teach people how to overcome or defeat ancestral curses and altars in their life. And this is how you can overcome them. First thing you should know that when an ancestral curses come into one's life, they cause a lot of problems in a person's life. You can see that maybe your life is not moving forward. It's filled with the destruction, with the death, and also with death. But how do you defeat these altars? Now, this is what you are going to do to defeat the altars. For ancestral curses to occur, you should understand that they occur due to negative things that were being done in the past. So if your generations past were involved in nefarious activities, by nefarious activities I mean like they were involved in killing people or the destruction of other people's property or theft or envy or other forms of demonic principalities, what happens is they tend to manifest over time, they tend to grow. Okay, in the spirit nothing is at a full stop everything is at a constant now to defeat these negative energies you have to replace them you yourself with the positive energies and how do you do this you start it by your works you start be having a positive outlook in life okay you start by helping others by sharing by showing love and kindness to others that's how you will start breaking ancestral curses okay by tithing, by help, helping the sick, helping those who are in prisons, okay? It will not be a loss because the energy in the universe always responds to anyone who is positive or negative. If your works are positive, they will manifest more positivity in your life. But if your works are negative, they will manifest more negativity in your life. So always... Ensure that you are positive in life with a positive outlook. Always manifest the fruits of the Holy, Holy Spirit, which are love, joy, patience, peace, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, humility, and self-control. And the gifts of the Holy Spirit will manifest in your life. So thank you for listening to this message.